It allows a scout to gauge the distance of an approaching enemy. It reveals the distance of celestial objects that are billions of miles away. A lack of understanding it makes an infant reach out to grasp the moon. It is parallax. Parallax is the apparent change in position of an object due to a change in the observer's vantage point. As I'm driving down this highway, a billboard that's nearby appears to have a large change in position, while those mountains hardly seem to move. In order to gauge a distance using parallax, we must have two vantage points. This is no problem for us humans because we have two eyes, which give us depth perception. I guess that's why we don't just have one eye. So, how do we use parallax to calculate the distance to an object? From the first vantage point, we will measure the angle from straight ahead to the object whose distance we want to know. Because this is a 90 degree corner, we also know the interior angle. Let's repeat this process from the other vantage point. This angle is the parallax angle. Since we know angle P and the distance between the two vantage points, we can use some trigonometry to tell us the distance to the object from either the vantage points or the center of the baseline. Parallax is a foolproof way to measure distance. Except when you're in love. You want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. Early astronomers tried to use two points on Earth to measure the distance to the stars, but couldn't get a measurable parallax angle. It wasn't until they utilized Earth's orbit around the sun that they discovered even the closest star was 25 trillion miles away. Individually, two vantage points may tell us nothing, but together they can reveal even the depths of the cosmos.